We have put down quite a bit of extra rock. It just, you know, if you've got oil coming up, you don't need to put oil on it. You know, we just, we just been covering it. We do that. We've done some with the, just a separate truck. We have been eased and on road two or three times already, just putting down a blotter on top of this sticky oil. Is that what it was? I went to uh, up the ice cream station the other day from Round Knob East. And it looked like grain or something. I thought, what is that? She said, that's not all. I mean, chip, is it? I said, no. It looked like maybe grain out of somebody's truck. And you put something down just to keep the stickiness down. Lime. You put lime. It's a mixture. That's a very good idea. It's a mixture of lime and chips. Oh, but we're just trying to blot it to keep it from being so sticky. I mean, you drive down the road in these afternoons and it's people you hear playing, this? slinging up on the cars and everything just, else. Yeah. yeah. I understand. What do you do? Did you do it all over the county? Just certain roads? Uh, sticky? We've gone, we've been out several times already, you know, getting these hot afternoons, and maybe it's been pretty widespread. How did you actually disperse it on the roadway? Just let it fall out the back of the truck? Out of a hopper truck. spreader? Out of a hopper truck. Okay. And we, hit, we started without the spreader on it, and finally says, let's try this. So they've got the spreader on, and I don't know if they're spinning it or just using it that, falls out and gets that and it spreads out. But I think they're very slowly, and I mean literally slowly spinning, trying to spread that you out. And they just drive over the, but we're using a mixture of lime and chips. That way you don't end up with the great big rock down there, but you still get blotted trying to keep it from sticking. That's what kind of happened. And we've been using those. We thought maybe that. Country Club Road out there by Air Force. along the road there, I, you know, Jeff and I talked and we worked with them and so on. In fact, they, see, they got so much of the concrete off of the, uh, what they come out from 45 from Simon's, you know, and we used that along there and they used it, you know, I, I worked with them on that. We got the bank all lined and they done their side. Yeah, I didn't know if you had a joint effort with them down there or not. Kind of. Kind of county ditch. They've done a lot of the work, and they they dumped along there. Uh, it was kind of a joint effort. They hauled it and dumped it, kind of on Lindell, and uh, they dumped some of it out along the road. We placed it and, and worked with them and got it on the roadside, and when they finally got the other side cleaned up, they, they lined the other side. Trying to, and Jeff talked to me several times, you know, hey, how do we want them? So, you know, we, they work with us. We must have something in mind. Uh, we want to work with someone. We want to work with someone. To be honest, I think that's all that is out there. He's created some big burn piles there that I'm sure he's wanting to get rid of. And that brings up another stuff. I have different people say they got burn piles in the county that they want to burn. The burn band's still on. I seen uh, Mr. Childress yesterday. Talking a little bit about it, he said, "Well, what people don't realize, we've had some rain, but some parts of the county didn't get any rain. So therefore, you, it's a county-wide thing. Just because one area is flooded, the other can dry. But even that rain soaked up so quick that it, in two days, this wind it'll dry it right back out. So he didn't look for it to be lifted right away. I don't want yeah. for it to be lifted anywhere. Personally, that's a personal opinion. Yeah. Uh, it is just very, very dry out there. I know what." Uh, Maybe on somebody's side. I'm pretty sure there's a fire with that. Occasionally there is. I think maybe it makes an effect. They've got it all piled up. Do you think it was in the road? I think it was a week or two weeks ago. Lightning actually started the fire. 
field fire and burned about seven acres from lightning during the storm. <laughs> so that's how dry it is. Well, that's what's happening in Colorado. Some of the other places that happens all the time. This is new to us. and other people deal with this every year. It's just that that part of their climate. It's kind of different. Uh, we've, uh, we're done uh, oil shipping on the west side. Uh, we're up uh, between 45 and North Avenue, working that area, and all the way north from there. They're heading back south today on the other side. Uh, we may be getting close to, after today and tomorrow, we may be getting very close to being done over to North Avenue. How do the roads look this year compared to other years? Really? The light winter is. They're not as bad as they normally are. That's what I was thinking. We have a very light winter. Uh, we, so far, not <laughs> we have really probably used less oil per mile than what we had in the past year. And that's good because we don't have the oil to put out. We put down 24 tankers last year, and I think I've got 16. Hoping that we will get some more money here in August, like we did last year, and I can add to that. I'm glad to see the light winter in the valley. Yeah. And, you know, and I was talking to a fellow this morning that brought a load of oil in. He said he was talking to a road commissioner in one of the counties north of here. This has been, of course, it's going to be, what appears to be, a bad year for farmers. But he said from the roadside, that is going to be a plus because there's going to be a lot fewer heavy loads out there on the roads this fall than what we normally have. It's a shame. That's not much of a light side, though, is it? No, it isn't. At the cost of somebody else. Yes. It's, that's, you know, that's farmers. They've got their money spent. They can't get paid off. How are they going to go back to the bank? They want more money to put next year's from them. That's, yeah. Does, really the, does the insurance, the 80% over the five year average, that that works? I have no idea. That's why I read it. Right? I have no idea. Farm, they have that part of the insurance. The 80% over the five year average. I think the governor did sign a declaration for funding, disaster funding. That way they can do some long interest loans and stuff. Maybe that'll help.